Well, hi folks, Corey Barker here of the National Association of Photoshop Professionals talking about clipping masks in this video. Now, when you're preparing your images for print, whether you've designed your own or in fact using a design template like the one I've got here, you're probably gonna want to mask certain images uh, within certain shapes to get relatively uh, decorative designs. Now, in this case here on this image, you'll notice we've got a whole layout here for the holidays. and We've got this one image area frame to place a photo. Basically, this is a design template. Now, you'll notice here in the layers panel, this layer that contains this image of this young lady, this silhouetted image here, is actually part of a clipping mask with the layer below. Now, if I turn this layer off for the moment, you'll see below it is just this simple rounded corner shape. And this image here, if I undo the clipping mask, you'll see is much larger than that shape that is below it but we've used a clipping mask in order to mask it inside of that shape without going through a lot of complex selecting and deleting of, of images. To invoke the clipping mask, all you do is simply position your graphic above the layer as it was a moment ago. Now in this, in this case, you can see this, these instructions here say place image below this layer and hide this layer. This of course is not going to be the finished image. We wanna put an image that we have created or shot on our camera. So for instance, here I have a shot that I want to uh, place on this image. In this case, I'm just going to drag and drop it over. You can copy and paste it as well. Just make sure you have the layer containing the shape we're going to mask it in selected in the original document. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drag and drop this over. I'm adding the shift key as I drag so it brings it to the center of the image. Now you'll notice this layer says place image below this layer and hide this layer. Now notice what's going on in the layers panel. We've got an image, our Christmas tree image is just below. And now if I go over here, here's that original image. If I turn that layer off, there is our image already clipped inside of that shape. And it's because we added it to an already existing clipping group. Now, as I said a moment ago, you can invoke this on your own if you do not have such a template or if you're building the design from scratch. Once you have brought the image over, you'll notice it is sitting above that shape layer you can invoke the clipping mask in one of two ways. You can simply hold down your Option key on Mac, Alt on Windows, position your cursor between the layers containing the image and the image um, that is going to be acting as the mask, and then position your cursor between it and click once. So again, holding down that Option key or Alt key and clicking once creates that clipping mask and hides the image inside of there. And you'll notice the image is on its own layer. You can move it around, reposition it inside of that shape to get the best possible positioning. Now I'm gonna undo that clipping mask and show you, or just tell you the keyboard shortcut, which is Option Command G on Mac, and it would be Alt Control G on Windows. Invokes the clipping mask, and you can see it's indicated by the small bent arrow on the left side of the icon, indicating the mask is present. So, really easy way to mask images with the pixels of another image. You just gotta make sure that it is positioned above the layer and then you invoke that clipping mask either by option clicking between the layers or again using the keyboard shortcut, option command G on Mac or alt control G on Windows.